All right, so uh, new guild war. We were very, we're pretty close the last time, uh, but unfortunately we ended up losing. So we're at uh, two ninety now. May as well make it three hundred, right? Um, but yeah, so let's just go in here again. Um, it's not very impactful, so I kind of tend to slack off a bit. Um, this main stronghold here seems to have some decent strength going here. So I hear this dizzy is pretty annoying. Uh, let's see, but it looks like most people did pretty well against it, so uh, I don't think it'll be too big a deal. Uh, the real concern is down here. Uh, I'm probably gonna bring Ruel down here. Uh, this will probably be Ruel um, SSB. Um, what's his name? Crow. And I have to think about something up here. Uh, so let's get that going down here. Just be Ruel. And crow. Uh, okay, so up here, that, uh, let's see, what can we do, what can we do? You want grass in this situation, I think, because now you're hitting both of them effectively. Yeah, okay, so I think I, think I got this. Hold on, it doesn't seem too bad an idea. Let's go with this. Um, you and hmm, maybe you. My Montmorency is only at a hundred and fifty. Uh, F res, so she might not end up being like strong enough to to handle uh, what's going on here. But let's see, what can I do here? Uh, my bigger one of the bigger problems is having to deal with this Ruel. You really want to make sure you have enough damage whenever you go into her. I really do need to build my um, Maid Chloe because I do I do have Maid Chloe. She's like down here somewhere. For those of you who may not have noticed, uh, yeah, she's so she's max six star and everything. She's actually max molded uh, her S two and her S three, uh, but not the S one because you don't really need it. Oh, she's just been kind of benched because I can't really use her in that much content. Um, but. I really should check like the guild info, but again, um, just kind of lazy. Uh, I think I might just bring you actually. Uh, she'll want to hit her. Hopefully, I can I can deal with her debuffs with uh, Montmorency uh, enough. Um, yeah, that's kind of the only the only issue there. Uh, but this should be fine. Yeah, let's just see how it goes. Um, we'll think about this for later. Uh, if anything, I think my bigger mistake is going to have been... Um, okay, so 15k is not too high. Almost 16. I think my biggest mistake is going to be... Yeah, so this is bad. Uh, is getting hit by the Charles. So I think the Charles is going to kill Euphine, which is going to suck. Uh, okay, so she got boosted. Uh, 15k HP, let's see how much damage he does. Yeah, so that's a lot of damage. Uh, I think, ooh, that's bad. The first person I really need to kill is going to have to be Charles, so let's just hit him with the S3 and see what happens. He's not going to die from this, I don't think, anyway. Uh, but at least I got the stun, which is kind of what I was looking for there. course. Uh, let's just heal everybody real quick here. Uh, oh, that was bad. Um, yeah, that's kind of an issue. Um, yeah, so this is kind of the, the what I was worried about. Uh, let's do just to hit you, see what happens. Of course I got the Albert, so she's dead. Uh, yeah.
Ooh, okay, she didn't die. That's crazy. Um, let's just hit her. Why not? I really probably may, maybe I should have hit Ruel there, and she's dead. Yeah. Really should have hit Ruel there just because. Uh, wow, she is not dead. She will not die. That's insane. Um, yeah, that's that's crazy. Uh, so now she's gonna hit him. She's gonna heal Dizzy, okay. Um, let's just go after him again, I guess. Oh, he's dead, cool. Um, next is Montmorency, I think she has her S3 up, so that's good. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Ravi up there is getting, wow, she resisted quite a bit there. I don't know if she resisted, but you know, she... maybe she just didn't land those buffs or something. I mean, they have to resist because she has 100% on all her buffs. Um, let's just hit this, why not? So I missed on, on Dizzy, of course, but I actually got the stun. She didn't get the pushback, though. Okay, so let's just do this. Um, what's good about this is I can do this now, which is good damage. Because this I'm hitting both of them. And I got the silence, so that's good. Uh, so let's just hit you. See how that goes. Yeah, so she's pretty tanky. Uh, 9,000. Basically, if I win this, it was off the fact that Yufin just didn't die for some weird reason. Uh, 9k HP is really no HP at all, so I'm not sure why uh, they weren't able to kill her. Uh, but lesson learned, I think next time, maybe bringing Yufin isn't the best idea, or maybe bringing in more um, support around her, but I think the problem there would have been like too little in terms of... Uh, too little in terms of of damage. My biggest problem there was damage. I really needed to cancel out that uh, Ruel as soon as possible. Okay. So let's... Usually if she's not on immunity, she's on uh, effect resistance. So I think what I want to do here is hit her. Like the thing is she's probably going to resist, right, is the biggest problem. Um, I think it should be fine anyway. Let's see if I got it. Uh, resisted? Okay, so that was fine. Uh, this is going to be kind of irritating just because uh, him with attack buff is not, it's not something you want to joke around with. Let's just hit this. Let's see how much. I want to see. I'm curious to see how much damage this. Uh, this Vildred does, considering I do have defense buff, and uh, everybody here is just generally really tanky. Defense buff with Aureus. Uh, they didn't get the skill nullifier, so that's even better for me. Uh, he's on MLDB, which I, I'm not sure I agree with. I think you really, I mean, of course, it, it could come down to just like he doesn't have um, that artifact, or he, she, he or she doesn't have that artifact. Um, but I really think this in this case you want um, Alexa's basket. Um, just because she already gives you a three turn attack buff, so the attack buff, you're basically losing out on half of the usefulness of Moonlight Dreamblade. Um, they could value the evasion that the Dreamblade gives you, um, that just that much, but you know, it's not something I would value very much. Uh, let's do, let's hit you. I think I'm just gonna S3 the maid. Yeah, hopefully I can kill her with this. Uh, so basically, I don't think I'm in any danger here because Maid's gonna die. Ruel, uh, let's just hit you, try to kill you again. So she's dead. Or, I mean, for the first time, I guess. Uh, Ruel's looking pretty healthy. So he's gonna come down. And he didn't die. Very interesting. Uh, let's hit you. The combat readiness that she gets is 20%, which is pretty good, I'm not going to lie, but I'm really thinking that Touch of Rekos might be a little bit better. Because uh, it heals her for... It, it goes up to 10%, which... Um, I have Aqua... Uh, what is it? Aqua Rose or some Water's Blessing. Or Water's Origin. Whatever. I mean, you know. 
uh, miss losing my names here, but uh, I have that artifact on her that gives her the CR boost and the HP. The HP gives her 8% at max. You can't change that. Um, and I'm really thinking that maybe just like the, the touch of Rekos gives her like, if I max that out and I have three copies of it, uh, so I can, you know, limit break it to, to within three. Um, I'm really thinking that maybe that can, uh, that can be very useful on her. Okay, so let's, uh, for not only healing everybody, which if, if you've ever fought a Rual on defense with the touch of Rekos, you'll know that that's, you know, one of the most irritating things in the world. Um, but yeah, like having it heal everybody as well as uh, herself for higher than she normally does. I'm losing the 20% CR boost, uh, unfortunately, but I really th uh, I think that maybe that um, might be worth it. Like her not getting the CR boost is kind of made up for like, that means that she can't take her turns, which means she can't do her heals, her S1, 2, or 3. Uh, but hopefully uh, the fact that like it heals everybody for around 10%, I don't know what it is, uh, what I have it at now. If you want to go take a look at this. Um, hopefully where it is now, uh, it, that can kind of make up for that, uh, if, if I'm making any sense to anyone there. Um, but that's just my thoughts. So I have three here. Uh, what's it at currently? So currently it's 6.5. So it's not better. Um, if I upgrade it, I think it goes up to 10%. So it goes up to 7.5 at plus 15. So I think I have to wait on, wait on it. Um, when I get it to be 8% or more. So let's take a look at uh, my other one here, the one I was talking about. When I when I can get Touch of Rekos to 8% or more, I think uh, it'd be worth switching over just to try it out. Uh, let's see, Aqua Rose, 8% health increase and all that stuff. Oh, Water's Origin, so that's what that is. Aqua Rose, I think, is that other like three-star one. Uh, but yeah, sorry, I'm sort of tangential here. Um, get back to what we're doing. Just one of those things where I, I like to think about it a lot. Um... Touch of Rekos, though, is, is one of those things where you really want more... I think, you know, personally, I, I don't want more speed before I run Touch of Rekos because, um, obviously, you can, only, you can only proc it once per turn. So, uh, I really do think having more speed would be very helpful there. Uh, I thought I clicked it. Uh, so, it's only five, so I've got two, and then someone else needs to attack. Let's go take a look at um, our defenses here and see what we did. Uh, so, no one's even attacked me, which kind of sucks. Uh, last Guild War, I got defense wins. Uh, this guild war got attacked a lot. Uh, I lost. I think I. I think I actually did better than, than not. No, no this one here doesn't count. So I think I, I, this looks to me about fifty fifty. One two three four. One two three four, five six. Okay, so it was a little bit better than than than, than not. Uh, but yeah, so let's go take a look. Let's just hit this fort. Make it more interesting. Uh, oh, I, I saw that icon, and I was really thinking, I was really hoping Mui would be there because I, I really kind of want to see what she does and how well she does. Uh, so this fort, successful defense. Wow, this is a apparently this is a very strong fort. Look at all these people. How many people hit it? All right, so let's uh, let's take this seriously, I guess. Um, so this is the same fort we saw last time with uh, Dizzy, uh, with and the and the main fort, Dizzy, Ruel, and Charles. Uh, I think this is pretty good because it does really make um, attacking it pretty irritating. Um, uh, fortunately, we tested out that other team last time and it didn't go so well. So let's think about what we want to do here. I think I'm going to bring you with the CR Pusher. I forget his name for some reason. Yeah, I'm going to bring you with the CR Pusher and Dizzy. Maybe not Dizzy, maybe someone else. Hold on. Uh, where are you? DJ Basar. And uh, let's bring Dizzy. Uh, just because. So hopefully nobody dies. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully she doesn't have uh, a lot of people. I think it's the really... What's the word? Knowledge or sort of intelligence or sort of just knowing things leads you to put Abyssal Crown on Dizzy, but I think Wisdom tells us that um, Dizzy on the, uh, what's it called? On the Ayelas is probably a lot better, um, but that's just kind of the way I think about that. I really do think that being able to, sh having her own strips and her own debuffs uh, attached to her really does make her a lot more threatening because the way it is now, I'm just going to, I'm just going to DJ Basar. Um, the stuff and then just continue just uh, proceed to do whatever I want to do 
Um, I should really check the discard to see if he has immunity, but I really I can't be asked right now. Um, so that's that. Up here, uh, this looks like a perfect SSB scenario. Let's just bring her. Uh, I'll bring you. I really want to bring DN here, uh, just because it'll help finish it a lot faster and not be so uh, so annoying. But let, I guess better safe than sorry. Let's uh, let's just bring um, Ruel. Uh, you can see here, this is actually a uh, an imprinted. See, she's got to be Elena, but uh, I've been slacking on building her. She really does. I want her to have good speed and a counter set, but no, that's that's it's kind of hard to get. So. Uh, she, she's she's kind of lagging behind, oh, but I'll, she's fine where she is. Um, I'm just not going to use her for very much, so it just takes time to get that gear. Uh, so this is this is what I'm taking. Uh, she he well she's going to farm him and him, and she's just going to be kind of irritating. So I just got to worry about that. Uh, she's going to be focused on her, uh, and hopefully I can resist everything she's throwing out. So, um, yeah, I mean this looks pretty safe to me. Let's just go in there and see what happens. Uh, like I said, a lot of people have been having trouble with uh, this one apparently. So let's see if I let's see if I do any better. So it's a pretty fast. Uh, it's a pretty fast. What's his name here? Uh, let's do this. Uh, so that was fast, but I mean he didn't do any damage, so that's pretty um, sad, I guess. Uh, so here comes this guy. Uh, which is why I say uh, he's sort of he's got an AOE on an, on the S3 for one and he's got let's push you back he's got an AOE on the S1 on the S3 uh, and then he's got a dual attack on the S2 so he's just kind of easy to farm him and Lilius it's kind of hard to have them on a, on a defense team especially for me anyway um, just because of that uh, let's just get rid of this I guess This is actually going to hit um, Vildred up there a little harder. Oh, it should have hit him a little harder. Ooh, nice. So he's got 20,000 HP. She's got uh, an amount. This is actually a very tanky uh, Arbiter Vildred there. Um, I don't know what to do here. Uh, let's. I think I should just heal her. And then Charles is going to kill, or not Charles, uh, Crow is going to kill, uh, Dis, uh, not Destina. Um, it's actually kind of interesting because I really want to kill him now that I know he's got like 15,000 HP. Uh, question is, do I, can I deal with the repercussions afterwards? So I think, yeah, I really do need to sort of think this out a little more. Let's, uh, I think I'm just going to heal her, buy me a turn. And then I'm probably just going to drop, um, I think I'm going to drop, uh, CC here. She can be pretty irritating. Oh, I have miss, don't I? Whew. Let's just hit you and hopefully you just die. Okay, well, let's just work on you. Uh... Okay. I'm interested to see a character that does damage uh, like the way Charles deals more damage the fewer are there are on the enemy team It'd be interesting to see uh, a character that does more damage proportional to the number of allies you have on your team or something like that so as the allies go up you know you do more damage and like you know in a situation like this you do less damage at the end um, was I right about that he has yeah he's at 15 he's at like 14 uh, it's still kind of interesting how much how tanky he is 6,000, that's not bad. Um, 
Do I want to do that? No, we'll just hit him once. 2,000 HP on, on you. My SSB is kind of weird. She, she's resisting a lot. I don't know. I mean, for those of you who are paying attention and don't don't really have anybody who um, not a lot of people who watch these videos anyway, or let alone probably make it all the way to the end. Uh, except for you, Deuce. I'm wondering if you do make it to the end, because um, I, I know you're there, um, and I think that you're the one liking all the videos. So thanks for that. Um, but. Uh, yeah, like aside from him, I don't really think a whole lot of people uh, make it that far. I forgot what, what I was gonna say, why I said that, but uh, um, yeah, I was gonna. That was the reason I said that. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Well, I don't know. Forget about that point that I was making. Um, but it's always kind of interesting to think about uh, just how incredibly designed Bologna is, because Bologna has unbuffable, which means that Arbiter, like you can unbuffable an Arbiter. Oh, okay, so this is what I'm talking about right here. You can basically hit Arbiter with the unbuffable from the S3, and he can't get his Alexis procs, and it, which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, that's how it's kind of interesting. Uh, let's just hit him with the S1. I don't want to waste anything. She's going to get hit by uh, Charles. Wow, nobody got hit by that. That's bad. Uh, okay, so she doesn't have... The one thing I was concerned about, she doesn't have the... Um, she just hit you. You might be on counter, but that's fine. Okay. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Um... Let's find out what happens here. Uh, she's not on Ayala's. I think, I mean, somebody should have been stripped there if, he, if she was on Ayala's. Yeah, so I think she's on Ayala's. I got a resist from uh, Tenebri down there, so I'm not, you know, I'm st maybe now it's starting to make me doubt it again. Uh, let's just hit you. I really want you dead. Uh, she's got Proof of Valor, so I want to start hitting her as, as soon as possible. Uh, okay, so this is good. Charles is going to go. Um, okay. Uh, now I get to get this off. So hopefully Charles doesn't kill me through uh, the miss and the attack debuff, but let's find out what happens here. Um, okay. And this happened. Okay, so that Ruel does not have a whole lot. Well, okay. And she's dead. Oh, he missed. Okay, maybe not. That Ruel does not have a lot of effect resistance, which I think is a poor decision on their part. Come on, Charles. Hit Charles. Sleep him. You. Yeah. Yeah, so she's gonna S two. I think he's. I think she's dead now. Whew. Damn. She just won't die. Okay. So let's hit him with this. Now let's hit him with this. Okay, so I'm getting countered here. Wow, that's a counter Ruel. That's kind of interesting. Okay, miss. Come on, please don't hit the other one. Miss, miss, miss. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Uh, okay. Let's hit you, because you're getting on my nerves now. Uh, let's hit you again. Of course. And she's dead. Oh, nope. Uh, so let's just kill you. Because uh, I'm tired of looking at you. So that was probably a bad decision because I think she still has her S3. <laughs> yeah, she does. Okay, so that was that was horrendous. Uh, of course. I think she might have just died. Uh, Ruel might have just died if I had uh, s one her with uh, Tenebria there. Uh, so if I end up losing, um, you guys get to see um, that was a poor decision. So I think this team was definitely beatable. I just, uh, I'm just an idiot, I guess, like normal. Uh, let's do this. Um, I am going to. They're taking. They've been taking a lot of damage. Let's just hit them with this. Okay. <sighs> okay. So she'll survive this. Um, and I got the counter and the. There we go. Cool. Uh, so nothing bad happened. <laughs> there we go. I uh got to be uh, victorious. Assume, presumably, let's find out what happens. Uh, let's not. I guess let's not count our chickens before they hatch. Let's hit the S3 here. Uh, so I think the, the this is a pretty good combination if you have a good CR pusher. My DJ Basar does not is not a good enough CR pusher in my opinion. Um, I mean he could be if you give him a lot of speed, but mine's like 223, so it's not that good. Um, but it's decent against a team like this, so that's the important part. Uh, let's.
let's hit let's hit you just because I can. Uh, Charles is asleep. Let's just hit everybody. That isn't Charles. Uh, so the pushback on her and you got woken up. And the S2 missed both of them. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's just do this. Okay, he's dead. Uh, and this is the power of a regular, you know, base Tenebria. I don't have any Molagors into her other than the cooldown for her S, uh, her S3. I think she's going to be my next Molagor project after. Uh, oh man, she's like third in line now because Arbiter Vildred is next, and then after that it's going to be um, um, what's her name, Seaside Euphine or whatever she's called. I don't know what she's called. I don't know what like her name is. Uh, so that's that. Okay, so I can either hit this tower or this one. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, Vildred, I think this one looks pretty good for uh, SSB. Uh, what's his name and what's her name? Um, yeah, this one looks pretty good for that. Uh, down here, he can't be slept, but he can be defense broken. But the problem is he's going to throw him back, so I'm not going to bring Euphine there. Uh, this is actually a pretty annoying team. Uh, he's probably got Ayala's, so it's going to set up for her. Uh, da, 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 da. And then she's going to revive somebody. So I think I, this, I'm probably going to hit this one, but let's just take a look at the other one, see if it's easier. If it's easier, I'm just going to go with the other one. Um, let's see what we've got here. Uh, this one looks like uh, SS. Like I should just kill him with Euphine. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's take this here, put this here. Actually, this looks like a fun time uh, with this team up here. Uh, this team down here looks fine, and then um, I think I'm just going to hit it with this. Uh, honestly, both of them are equally shaky. Um, depending on who he hits, could could really destroy me here. Um, him, he's got defense break on everybody, which is kind of annoying. Uh, actually... Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe swapping these teams would be a good idea. Having this down here, because with Ayela's, she can strip his uh, dodge, and then just she can just put him to sleep. Uh, and I've done that before. I don't know what video, I can't remember, but um, I've definitely done this on camera before. Um, I don't know if I want to risk it this time. Uh, the other team, the lower team really bothered me. Um... The problem is, I could like one shot somebody with Euphine, but um, we're all just going to bring him back. And then I just wasted a S3 and a CR push. And then they're all just going to die. Because, again, like Euphine survived last time out of like pure luck. Uh, but she really shouldn't, really, I really should have lost that one. Um, is the problem there. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with this. I'm gonna save the Crow S3 to hit him as soon as possible, and then hit him later. Just because like it's easier to get him to bait on the Crow uh, than it is to have like him, because he just kind of like hits people randomly with his S3. Uh, well, not his S3, his um his S2 passive thing, whatever. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do that. The, the only problem again is going to be the defense break on this. It's gonna be pretty irritating. Uh, this is one of these cases where maybe running Potion Vial is better, but um, she's going to be taking a lot of damage from these two. For one, she's going to eat his S3, and then his S3, and his S1s, and all that stuff. Uh, so I think I'm just going to have to leave it like this, and hopefully she doesn't die. Uh, this team up here, I really want to test out, see how that goes. Um, see if uh, they got any immunity, which I think they should. Okay. This is a poor decision on their part, I have to say. Um... So let's do this. Oh, she's first. That's bad. I really need to fix that speed tuning. Uh, I would have lost here if it weren't if uh, if they had immunity. I would have had a seriously bad time here. So let's hit them with this. Okay, slept some people who I wanted to sleep. Uh, this now this kind of sucks. <laughs> I really gotta fix the speed tuning. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I have to go deal with Dizzy later. Um. I want to push him back. No, I'm going to wake him up, so I'm going to get him with the uh, S3. 
Uh, my Dizzy, I was kind of happy with her a while ago, but uh, I really, you know, there's people running around with like 200,000 HP, or not 200, 20,000 HP um, Dizzies on counter with like 200 speed. Uh, and that's about like the main uh, things that I want to aim for. Uh, with like 100 effectiveness, that was the other thing. Effectiveness, my uh, my Yuffie, or my uh, Dizzy does not have enough effectiveness. Um, is the biggest problem that she's kind of going through. Okay, so let's see if uh, Dizzy can survive this onslaught of shit here. Okay. Uh, there we go. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so let's hit you. Um, let's hit them with this. Uh, let's hit them with the slow. Uh, we'll hit you again. Cause this is going pretty well, honestly. Uh, so they've all got speed, uh, slow, whatever. Uh, Elbrus, of course, is fine. Uh, he got the S2, which is fine, and he missed, so that's even better. Uh, let's hit you with this. Okay. So I am going to hit, well, I really should, I'm just going to hit him, just forget it. I got the stun, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so this is basically almost over. Um, take a look here. Okay, so I got slept again. Uh, okay, so she got, she has immunity now, which is kind of annoying. Let's just hit her because she's got defense break, and why not? Uh, let's hit this. And it's over. Because uh, now you just S1U. That's pretty good. Uh, this team up here is just, again, like I said, uh, it's really sort of... It's the reason you don't want to run non-immunity on your team, because then they just get hit by stuff like that all the time. Uh, so let's get hit you. That's a pretty fast uh, Ruel. She's like one, cause my crow is 195. So she's not 195, I mean 200 would be fine. Um, she's probably like 180, cause that's kind of weird though, because my crow is 195 and she's 185. So she's like somewhere in the middle, like 190. It's kind of weird. It just looks like a huge gap for some reason. Uh, let's hit, let's just hit you. Uh, crow doesn't have his S, or uh, what's his name? Ken doesn't have his uh, attack buff, so this is a little easier to do. Um. Oh, he's on counter. Very interesting. Uh, basically, it just means I get to do this. Uh, and then hit that. So he's going to hit me now. Very interesting. Uh, so I think if anybody's going to die, it's going to be um, SSB there. So he's going to hit this. See how much damage this does. I don't like Moonlight Dreamblade on him just because it, it doubles down. Again, it doubles down the attack buff. And his S3 gets him an attack buff. So it's kind of like, what's the point there? I want to point something out here too. Um, people neglect a lot of. Uh, uh, I actually don't think this is that necessary, so I'm just gonna do this. People neglect a lot of effectiveness on their uh, on their Kens, their ML Kens, which is it's understandable because it's like it's not a stat you really want to build on him regardless. Um, but I do want to make I do like to point out that like it makes it easy to resist him too like basically too easy um okay so that was pretty cool because i wasn't gonna hit him anyway oh well i guess i was because of this uh let's hit i'm gonna heal her it's very important to heal her in this situation because um uh did she already use she used her s3 right her S3 is gone, okay. I think I'm just gonna, ugh, this is bad. I'm just gonna have to S3 you. Cause I need a target to hit. Cause if I S3 Ruel right now, uh, I'm not gonna have another target to to just hit constantly. Uh, I'll have to hit either Ken or um, this guy over here and I really don't wanna hit him right now. 
Uh, so let's just hit that. Okay, so he's got max uh, whatever passive. So we'll just focus on you for now. Uh, so now we have the defense buff. I think I can start hitting him. I'll try to get that passive off, see what happens. So let's just hit him. If anything, okay. Okay, so I got the counter. <laughs> I got countered. Uh, and he's going to get the S3, so that's pretty interesting. I don't, know how to I don't know how to feel about this build here. Uh, so that's cool. That's all right. I can revive her. Uh, da -da -da. And she got her S2 off, so that's it. Wow! That <laughs> didn't do enough damage. Didn't do nearly enough damage. Okay, so he's dead. Uh, so let's just... Uh, she's got her S3 still on cooldown. Just hit her, I guess. Uh, Crow would be really nice if we had uh, if I had uh, one of his skill ups. Okay. Just oh, I should have saved that. Oh, but that's fine. It's interesting that the drink procs even when you don't hit, like if you miss, is what I'm saying. Uh, let's heal you up. Let's see who she heals or who she brings back. Depending on who she brings back, if it's Ken, um, he won't be that bad because I can just S three him. the The worst one I think is going to be uh, Riolu. Uh, he brought back Riolu. Okay, Riolu's fine too. I can just S three him as well. I usually kill him through miss anyway. Um, so let's just hit you. As you could, see, and as you saw there, he didn't do nearly enough damage uh, to really matter anyway. Uh, she's gonna heal herself here. She's at eight thousand there. She's at sixteen now. So hit you. Get your uh, thing going here. Wow, he went for the uh, SSB again. And it doesn't really mean a whole lot. I mean, yeah, he's kind of right, right? It doesn't mean anything because it didn't do any damage. Uh, it's interesting because obviously it ignores fifty percent um, defense. Uh, but one of you know, obviously one of the biggest strengths to. Um, Let's see, uh, one of the biggest, this is actually kind of uh, interesting. I, I really need to focus on this uh, Riolu here. Okay, so he's bringing me lower. Oh, this is bad. Um, let's just hit it. Why not? This counter, uh, wow, that's annoying. Um, oh, I hit him. That's why I was like, what happened? Let's see if he hits SSB again. This will be hilarious if he does. Oh my gosh! That's three in a row, dude. I don't understand. I thought it was random. Is it not random? Am I stupid? And he should be dead. Yeah, okay. So basically... She's going to have her S3 up again. That's pretty annoying. Uh, 9,000. Let's just hit her. Okay, cool. I was worried she was going to like survive, but yeah, I think she should be dead now. Uh, one from this. Uh, let's hit her with this. And there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, so, three for three. Not bad. Um, I got kind of lucky, a little luckier than I really uh, deserved to be there. Um, that that Yufin, the one I took Yufin into, maybe I should have lost that one. Uh, and then I got kind of lucky with a lot of the Tenebria stuff. Um, basically, whenever I take Tenebria into anything, it's it's like in a sort of quantum state of like basically secured, and also I should lose. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird to me. Uh, like I should, I feel, I really do feel like I should lose everything I take Tenebria into, and uh, I end up winning anyway. Um, so you know. They still have half their attack, so uh, let's see how this turns out. I think we still have this, but, um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, they've got a lot of attacks. I say half, well, I mean, it's not half, but, like, you know you know what I mean. It's just a lot. Uh, has anybody attacked me yet? Nope, still no one. Uh, if I can take a look at myself here. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking about changing this, like I said. Uh, maybe putting... Um, your name putting a momo where uh 
where Ruel is here. Uh, just because you really, I really kind of want to have some debuff removal. Because in this case, uh, Ruel has a lot of effect resistance, but she can only heal one person at a time. And there goes that cleanse. And a lot of times she's probably going to end up healing Krau. Uh, but she might not, you know, who knows. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things that's kind of interesting. Uh, as well as, like, I can't really see what I'm losing a lot to because they don't show you what teams you lose to. Uh, but yeah, so, like I said, I don't know. I feel like changing this. I, I do like the synergy here. Uh, but we lose to green, so maybe put, like, a red here, some sort of red uh, healer. Acades would be pretty fun. Um, just because she has that, like, immortality loop where she just, like, is irritating. I mean, you're going to just piss people off. You're not really going to do very much there. Uh, but yeah, so, I don't know. It's just something to think about. Uh, down here, like I said, probably just going to be uh, a Vildred and then you know, some combination of something. Um, but yeah, so. Actually, what was it? Oh, I was thinking the other day, uh, maybe putting uh, SS, uh, Seaside Euphine or whatever, SS Euphine right here. Who knows? We'll see how that goes, though. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for this Guild War.